Very quick introduction. Just got off at Westbury Submendip. I think the bus caught up with the time he lost, but he was 20 minutes late. And it gets stuck in traffic. The buses. Anyway, see that big hill? I'll be up there later. That's what I got to climb up, up there. But I don't go straight up it, I go over it. I go over at an angle, but I end up on it eventually. This is one of the walks I usually do, either December or February. And why do you think that is, everyone? Because there shouldn't be too many cows out, but there can be. Quite often they are. I just have to try and avoid them. Um, yeah, so it is all up, up and across, and then across that hill there. That's what I got to do, folks. I'll be up there looking down here soon. There's a path that goes straight across and a gate. Halfway up that hill, there's a path that I'll be going on. But I got to get up there first. Past these houses. Like I said, I think the bus might have caught up with the time he lost because he was really putting his foot down. Otherwise, they get out of sync for the whole day. <sighs> Drapple Lane. Yes, yeah, so it's funny weather. Um, today is supposed to be the only day. with no rain until later. Right there, right, over and a little snowdrop lane back there from the cottages. Uh, I have brought my <coughs> mud proofs. I have brought my mud proofs, but I've done my socks up like that for now. <sighs> because it is uh, sometimes quite awkward walking with extra clothing on. So I'm going to see what the field's like. I'm expecting it to be all very muddy, so they will go on. I'm just trying to <laughs> get away without wearing them for as long as possible. So we're making a slow climb up that hill, but we'll be bending rather than go straight up the top. We do go straight up the top, but in a zigzag fashion. Although I have walked straight up it before. Yeah, I looked back in my video diary and I noticed it's February and December. I sometimes come out here twice, see? When the cows aren't about. After the being chased, oh, I don't know how many years ago now, but 10 years maybe now. It could have been after that experience. I tried to avoid them, but I can't always avoid them. Even in here, there's sometimes a little herd hovering. Now I can see mug, mud and splurge. Mud and splurge. But once we get away from the gate and get up a bit, it won't be so bad. But we've got to get past the mud and splurge. They do have a bull in this field in the summer. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything at the moment. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I don't know. If they're still about, it still looks pretty funny, doesn't it? I think get on there and try and go that way. I don't know where they are. They might be about, they might not be. Over and out for a minute. I'm halfway up this hill now. Look, like I pointed out earlier. I'm halfway up on the path. 
30 rows down in the lane somewhere down there and uh, called Mare's Lane cows have only recently they could still be in this field it's a big field right they could still be here but at the moment there's plenty of cow proof I'm just wondering if they've just been taken out or are they hiding up here I don't know yet all I know, once I get to that gate, I'm usually safe. But cows can come in through a gate over there. So, I'm still away from the gate yet, for safety reasons. But just follow this path. Of course, my bag is really heavy. At the start of a walk, the bag is really, really heavy. Now those hills at the top there, they're all hill forts. Iron Age hill forts, even bronze maybe. I've been up there. I've studied all those up there and the cabin on the top. I'm not doing that today. Today's a straightforward walk from this beautiful place I'm walking now back to Cheddar. Now if, because the bus was late, that puts me late. It's already a late bus anyway. If I can't make it back to Cheddar in time for that four o'clock bus, I'll get off, I'll have to come off at Draycott. This is the hardest part of the whole walk, what I'm doing now. This is the hardest part. I've come down from way in the village, right down close to the church, and I've gradually made my way up. I can see Breen down, Steep Home, Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak from here. All the reference points I tell you about when I'm on me walking. It looks to me like the cows are quick to come down, because when they skid like that, is they're in a hurry. I think they've probably been taken out over the weekend. They could have been moved. I don't know, but I got this feeling they've only just been taken out. These marks are very fresh. I could find while I get up here or look over there, they're still here. So I'm gonna gradually just creep up. I won't feel safe till I get to the first gate. So I'm going to turn off. It's hard work for me, talking, going uphill, everyone. So I'm not going to come back on now until I get up to the gate. Okay, over now. I've come up from right down there. Roman steps, head down. Just keep going. Stopped at the gate to get a little snack ready for when I'm walking. I've got a banana, I've got a couple of little Mars bars, really tiny ones. Um, I just had an orange. I should start bringing two oranges soon. I've had it at the start of the walk because I've brought a flask of hot water and one fruit juice because it is winter. Now look at this old sacred tree, look. If anything's a spirit tree, it's this one. But I don't think it's a yew. But um, even when they're hollow like that, they still live, you know. It's not an ivy tree, it's got ivy growing on it. I'm not quite sure what sort of tree it is. Glastonbury's right over there in the distance. I'll try and zoom in, see if you can see it. That's the worst part of the walk, by the way, that I've just done now. There's Glastonbury, look. There it is. We might sit better later. We might not. That's the hardest part of the walk. Hard from the hill point of view, not from cow point of view. There's, I've already got going to field with those cows. They're in there, but they're heading that way. So hopefully I can make it round the, to the next gate before they walk round the field. Do you see what I mean? 
Otherwise I'll have to try and get in another way. Still going up for a little while. This is called Lynchcombe Nature Reserve here. I haven't been here for two years. Could even be two and a half years. If I came in in December, it would be two and a half years. Now the cows are in this field, but I've only got a short distance to the next gate. And they've got calves. But I've seen them in here. So fortunately for me, they've moved up that end, but they have been here. If I'd been half an hour earlier, if that bus had been on time, it's quite likely the cows. See, fresh back. See? They are actually in this field. I think they sometimes call this Cook's Field. I spotted a few of the cows and they've actually got calves. So we go through this gate here. Then usually there is, sometimes there's a stile to cross, but they might have not bothered with that now. So he's coming up that way. Some people, I've come up that way before. Straight up. I've come before. Straight up. Look at that lovely cloud there. Let's zoom in on it. I don't want to end up walking with somebody. I come out alone for a reason. Right, I'm going to turn off and take a picture of that.